Hi there. In today's video, we'll be talking about Shear and Scale tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. We're going to start with the Shear tool first. So let me grab the Rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Let me change the stroke to 10 pixels and let's add some fill to this as well. Let's grab the shear tool from the toolbox here. Shearing an object slants or skews the sides of the object along the axis you specify, keeping opposite sides parallel and making the object asymmetrical. So you see the blue diamond looking point is the reference point and by default it's on the center. What it means is when I try to skew the rectangle from any side at this point, it is going to freeze the reference point. Hence this rectangle will move in any way you like from any corner you like but since the reference point is married to the center it wouldn't move from there. So now let's see what happens when I change the reference points to this corner. To change it all I need to do is click once and the reference point will move to the point where you click. Now when you pick a point and move it, you will find that the rectangle is now fixed at the side I've put the reference point on. So it's going to move any way you like but tethered to that point. Alternatively, you can also double click on the share icon here to adjust the settings manually. This setting panel can also be activated by pressing command and left click on a Mac or control and left click on a PC. And by left click, I mean click anywhere on the screen and the option will be populated as long as you have the shear uh, option selected. Using this panel, you can set the shear angle horizontally as well as vertically and it shall comply. You can even make a copy of the original uh, rectangle here. Let's use it with some text and you'll find that it has the same effect on text as well. While you're skewing your text or shape, press shift and you'll find there is a little bit of control in its movement as it moves in set angles. Shearing can be used particularly in logo making, in pamphlets, announcements or menu cards where you want them set inside a shape as a banner, etc. Time to move on to scale tool. The scale tool is used to scale content by dragging. Much like the Shear tool, the Scale tool also has a reference point and is pretty much used the same way as well. So if I select the Scale tool and click at a particular point and try to scale my rectangle, it will scale from other sides with this corner fixed. You'll also find that while I'm scaling my rectangle down, the stroke is also thinning down to keep up with the scale size. So if for some reason you don't want that, deselect the rectangle by clicking anywhere uh, on the screen and you'll find the scale strokes and effects option on the right is checked. Just uncheck it and then try to scale down your rectangle and you shall find that it retains the stroke thickness. The same applies to scale corners as well giving you the same effect. You can also double click on the scale option to activate the settings from where you can manually enter how you want your scaling to be done. It can be done uniformly in which case it moves from both sides in equal proportions. You can even use the non-uniform option in which case you decide the size of both the horizontal and the vertical sides. From this pop-up menu you can even check or uncheck the scale strokes and effects or scale corners option that we spoke about a minute ago. And lastly, much like with the Shear tool, you can make a copy of the original rectangle by clicking on the Copy option. Alright guys, so that concludes our session today. It was a short one today, but I hope you've learned something from it. So if you've enjoyed the session, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.